As the weather gets warmer, all of us need a few summer reminders. Wear sunscreen, drink plenty of water, but what do you do if you see a dog trapped in a hot car? There's a lot you have to take into account, how long the dog's been in the car, what the temperature is on any given day. A post has been circulating on Facebook stating you can't be charged with criminal damage to property if you break a car window to free a dog from a hot car. However, Cold Spring Police Chief Jason Bloom says this could be true depending on the situation, but it's likely you'll still have some problems. I never recommend damaging anybody else's property. Um, granted, there's, you can take pictures of how hot it is, that kind of thing. You may not be charged criminally, but you could also, the owner of the vehicle be, could pursue you civilly to, for reimbursement of the damages. Depending on the severity of the situation, Bloom says you can try to find the owner. Um, you can check if it's at a business, go into the business, try and find the owner. Um, if it's a bigger business, have um, staff at the, at the business, page the owner, try and come to the vehicle. And of course, calling the police is also an option. Here in Cold Spring, we have equipment to unlock vehicles without damaging vehicles, um, but it all depends on the situation. Depending on the temperature outside, the inside of a car on average is 34 degrees warmer after sitting for 30 minutes. And even if you leave your car running, it's still not exactly safe. I'd recommend never leaving them in the car. You don't know if you're, even if it's running, the air conditioner can go out and there's a lot of mechanical stuff that can happen. We don't want to see any animals, any children, anything like that hurt. It's, it's accidents that can be avoided, so just don't leave anybody in a vehicle. Chrissy Getke, WJON.